Hello everybody, I'm Jean-Pierre Ferral, based in Marseille. I'm chairman of the European Scientific Diving Panel. Of course, you are all familiar with scuba diving, for which marine stations are a natural place for practice and development. However, diving is sometimes difficult or even impossible to use as a scientific tool. Depending on the country, this is due to both the low or a lack of low. At a European level, the major consequence is an obstacle to the mobility of scientific divers and to international collaboration. The purpose of scientific diving is the taking and delivery of underwater science. It is needed to support research and education. It is also needed for the protection and conservation of the natural and cultural environments. Scientific diving is neither recreational nor commercial diving. It differs from citizen science underwater activities, which are conducted by non-professional scientists. Scientific diving involves a specific population made of scientists certified to use diving in their professional framework, diving officer, hyperbaric physicians, scientific project leader, heads of laboratory, administrators, and legislators. In the following, scientific diving is always used in the meaning of occupational scientific diving. Scientific diving is an investigative tool, cost-effective and versatile, delivering sustainable collection, quantitative observation, and in situ measurement. It is an indispensable tool for research in coastal water, which are the most vulnerable marine environment. It should also be combined with other technologies, such as rover or landers, to create intelligent monitoring systems. At a European scale, the absence of unified recognized standards for scientific diving makes difficult or impossible to assure the mobility of fully trained scientific divers to allow member states assessing the training level of a migrant applicant to provide a more effective use of diving techniques in science. This led to the development and assessment of two standards for initial training, which were adopted in 2000 at a European scale, namely European Scientific Diver Standard and Advanced European Scientific Diving Standard. Several European countries have already incorporated such standards into their law. The ESD panel was created in 2008 under the auspices of the Marine Board of the European Science Foundation, being since 2018 under the umbrella of the Mars Network, its main contribution are currently to create awareness of marine station as an important part of the Europe scientific patrimony, to maintain a link with the European management of science, to identify relevant science priorities and strategies teams, to contribute to the creation of a critical mass and focus for European and global marine activities, to promote collaboration in spin-off projects, to communicate with the different stakeholders, to contribute to the organization of meetings, capacity building, and specific training. Thinking to a global scale, taking as an example the fruitful contact between Mars Network and NAMOL on the one hand and ESDP and American Academy of Underwater Sciences on the other hand, it can be assumed that a worldwide organization of marine stations would benefit and be beneficial to a global organization of essential technique operable in diving, particularly at the land sea interface, the most complex part of the ocean, which is also the location of marine station. The World Association of Marine Station can help to create and organize a world scientific diving body by clearly including scientific diving in its structuring work and by guaranteeing the level and quality of initial training standards. Thank you very much for your attention. I also thank the World Congress Marine Station 2021 Organizing Committee for inviting the ESD panel to that meeting. For more information, please visit the website of the panel or contact us. Thank you.